Hey, welcome to Weld.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG. Today we're going to talk about how to weld copper. Now, we've done some copper on some previous shows, but we didn't actually weld it. We used a silicon bronze, we used a couple of different methods, but uh, we're actually going to weld it because there are some applications where you need to weld it because you need to get the electrical continuity, so like a bus bar or something like that. So if you've ever attempted this, uh, you'll find it's pretty difficult. Copper will absorb your heat so fast that it's all about amperage. And how do we get amperage into here? Well, I'm going to show you. This, this copper is about an eighth of an inch thick. Now, if that was stainless steel or steel, not a problem. But copper, it is a problem. So I happen to have a machine here. And the torch that I've got in here, it's just an air-cooled torch. Now, this machine has, is already set up for me, so I selected it because this is a pretty crude operation. But the secret to success on this is helium. You want to go 100% helium gas. Now, the reason for that is helium is 1.7 times the power or the amperage drive that you get when you, when you use argon. So go ahead, 100% helium, and it's okay to kick it up to 25, 30, maybe even 40 CFH. So let me get my gear on, and I just want to show you that I've got some copper filler material. This just came from Romex. We just stripped it down. It's oxygen-free copper. Now, the thing about this, and I'm going to do a dry run right now just to show you uh, what I see at my end of it. Uh, this is a scratch start or a lift start, and I've got it set at 200 amps. So think about that helium, 1.7 times that. So I'm really pumping some power through this torch. Now, I need to get a puddle as soon as I can. So get on it, get hot add the filler, move, and get off, because the longer you stay there, the longer the oxides try to come in and contaminate. Now, if you're using argon, you're fighting a losing battle. So let me get my gear on and uh, show you how it's done. Okay, once I initiated my arc, I got a puddle. It took about two or three seconds delay to get that puddle. Then I started adding filler, and then I just moved out. Now, I couldn't have done that with the argon gas. So just know that I was traveling at a pretty high speed. So just remember, 100% helium, DC, pointed tungsten, just like you're welding steel, and you can weld copper. Now, we're going to let this cool down a little bit, and I'll wire brush it and show you the overview. Okay, now the part cooled off, I wire brushed it. Uh, the cooler it gets, the more color comes back, the copper color. But uh, just, just remember, this is not hard to weld. And I really thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.